What's up YouTube? So today we'll be sculpting Mars the Space Panda. So I got kind of tired of creating art that wasn't mine. I mean, I'm still going to create it, but I wanted to take a little break and create my own art. So here's something I came up with. Also, I will be announcing the winner from my previous video somewhere in this video randomly. So please stick around if you want to know if you won Loba from Apex Legends. So I'm putting on the rubber gloves to use some magic sculpt. It's a two-part epoxy medium. You want to make sure that you blend it really thoroughly and that the two colors become one into this nasty gray. When it's freshly made, it's really sticky, but as it hardens over like three hours, it becomes a little more um, shapeable and you can actually go in and add details and whatnot. I really enjoy this stuff it is because you don't have to bake it and it dries really solidly. I think I'll be using a lot more of this for my future sculpts, especially ones that are standing straight up. So I went ahead and covered everything off camera with, with uh, cos clay. It's the soft version, so it's really, really, really soft. It's a little too soft for my liking. I'm, I'm hoping that they release the firmer versions of it soon because I'm really looking forward to work with that. Uh, I've been using Sculpey products such as the Bacon Bond and the Clay Softener on Cosplay and so far it works just fine. Uh, I haven't noticed any negative side effects. So I've been creating a lot of art, doing a lot of drawings and I plan on making more of these in the future. Please let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below if, if there's a, a character you guys would like to see design. I'd love to design something for you guys. Um, it sounds like fun to me. So you notice right here, I'm using um, some more magic sculpt to create the backpack. You see that I use uh, this little battery wiring. I planned on um, putting some LED lights in this one, but halfway through it, I realized I didn't plan properly, so I ended up just scratching that and, and doing something else completely but I will do some better planning next time so I can make sure to incorporate the LED lights to my sculpture. I used these little glass cabotrons to make the eyes and I really like how it came out. I'll probably be using some more of, of this technique in the future. My camera turned off and I did this all off screen. I added a little backpack, a little energy converter for the energy tank so that the bear can get his oxygen, a little pickaxe for details, and an uh, air intake for his helmet. Oh, it takes the, um, this air from in the helmet so he can breathe. Yeah. Right? Called this is energy an energy tank. tank uh -huh. And this is an energy converter. It converts energy to oxygen. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Good idea. I like your ideas. Thanks. You know, this one was really, really fun to create because 
it was my own design and I can get as wacky with it. There was no right or wrong. And that's what made it fun. So I've been learning a lot from painting my sculptures and I've gotten a lot better so I wanted to show more of the process for the painting. Uh, please feel free to comment what you think if you want to see more details if you want me to talk more about it I, I would be glad to because I've been learning a lot from all this um, journey I can't say this enough times I love using this magic hoodie to mask my work it, it does such a good job of getting into the little crevices and then I can paint away without worrying about ruining my previous work. Not to mention how fun it is to remove. And here's the satisfaction of watching it be removed. We're using sterling silver and brushed metal for the the hoses and the metal parts of his suit. Really quick Google help to color the panda eyes correctly. Don't mind the humping pandas on the phone. The cool thing about using glass cabbage ones is you, just, you don't have to cover them or mask them, you just scratch them and get all the acrylic paint off of there like easy. This is Mod Posh Dimensional Magic. This stuff is uh, great. But you just put a couple drops in there and let it dry. The, the only catch is that it asks you to let it dry for three hours. That's a long time for me. The last little touch right here, putting the little neck cover, and he's done. And I'm really happy with the way he came out. And this is what I was talking about. But so I got impatient. I lifted it up before I had to, and you can see the little indentations that were created. All right, it's all done. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you like what you see. I'll be back 